Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are your December 2016 Angel Oracle Card Readings. For this month I'm going to be using the Archangel Gabriel deck by Doreen Virtue and of course pulling a color card from the Secret Language of Color Oracle deck by Anna Seagal. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com the services page. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. And of course, we have all the extra readings on gumroad.com slash angel souls. There are also courses there if you have any interest in that. For this time around on Gumroad, the extra readings will be the 2017 year overview. All right, so let's get started. Hi there, Aries. Let's see what's going on for you for December 2016. I feel like you guys are just kind of decompressing a little bit. Some of you are doing a lot of journaling as I <laughs> knock the cards out of my hands. Um, you're doing a lot of journaling, just trying to see maybe where you've been um, so you know how to carry forward. So it, there has this kind of, there's this sort of uh, introspective kind of feel. This also feels like a time of new beginnings and projects. This could also be some of you um, having a baby or deciding to get pregnant. All right, so let's see what else the cards have to say. Is that one card or two? Hang on a second, this feels like two cards. Okay, <laughs> I guess it's just one. It's open your heart to love, which is beautiful, but it feels really thick. There's no other card there. Okay, open your heart to love. Again, uh, the baby theme is coming up, so it feels like maybe open your heart up to loving a child, or you know, if you already have your children, you might decide you want another one, or you just want to sort of heal whatever your bond is with your children. If you're not looking for children, you're not going down that road, this obviously can mean open your heart to love a love partner. If you have one, if you don't have one, uh, get yourself ready to get one. Okay, recognition, new project, and keep going. <laughs> All right. So again, I there's this big feeling that you guys are kind of running out of steam a little bit at the end of the year, which is understandable. I think a lot of us are doing that, but there's a lot of good stuff happening for you. So make sure your heart is wide open, especially around love. I think that that's a real potential for you guys this month. Again, if you're like, oh, I'm already with my honey, well then have gratitude for that, <laughs> okay? So the first card we have is open your heart to love. The more you open your heart and pour your love into your creations, the greater their life force energy. So again, this is, you know, we, we've talked about this being, you know, opening your heart to love, loving children, um, bonding with your children, spending time with them. But this is also finding what you love and going after and doing that, okay? So again, we have new project here, so that might have something to do with it. So what is your true love? Now, this card, the next card is recognition. Now that could mean that you're getting rewarded for some project or um, someone's trusting you with a new project, but because it comes right after open your heart to love and what do you love, the recognition card takes on a whole different meaning before I even read it, right? It says, what, do you, what are you going to recognize that you love? Are you going to acknowledge something in your life, okay? It's recognizing who you are and what your true heart's desire is. Okay, so a lot of clarity coming this month, which could be really, really good. You and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honors. Okay, you're definitely getting noticed. But again, on the love front, because there's an overwhelming feeling around that this month. On the love front, this is um, recognizing your worth and, and saying, okay, I'm going to put my heart and soul into this. I am going to commit or, you know, what have you. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you get engaged even, or you get that bonus, or you get a promotion. I mean, somebody is coming forward and saying, hey, you're worthy, and I appreciate you, and I think that you could really carry forward in a big way, okay? Whether that's in love, it's like love and career for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to be very honest. Yes, there's that introspection, but again, I think it's... Um, a couple of those worlds coming together for you. Okay, so the next card we have is new project. Like a newborn baby, your actions are growing your idea into reality. So again, guys, maybe you wanna start a book, maybe you're giving birth to an actual child, like we said, or you're giving birth to a new romantic partnership, whatever it is. The new project, um, yes, you could take it very literally and say, oh yes, I have that project at work that I'm gonna be doing, but this feels grander, it feels bigger, it feels like you're taking on a new chapter in your life which is really, ah, I just love it. It's amazing. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's gonna be easy and like the next card is showing us. It's not like it's, it's gonna just, you know, be without its challenges, right? I mean, you're gonna have to keep going. 
<laughs> which is like, don't give up. It's happening right now. Okay. Use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotion. Now, the keep going card for you guys, I think, is, well... I've already been down that road of love and nothing happened or you know what I mean or I've tried this I've tried that and just nothing ever happened this is saying no keep going keep going it can happen for you now it will happen for you now especially around um, your passions your career again when you recognize what it is that you want now you can you know keep going to make that happen so don't give up right before <laughs> it's all gonna go off okay stay patient all right so your color card Let's see what that is. Your color card is chocolate. Nourish your body and soul. The number is 13. Um, open your heart to love. We gotta go back to that. You know what I'm gonna say. Say it with me now. You have to love yourself first, <laughs> all right? So you have to make sure that you are um, nurturing your body. Again, it's holiday time, so it, it might be a very indulgent time. But remember that your body is you know your vessel it's a holy vessel carrying a soul so be careful with that okay no overindulging <laughs> now what would that have to do with all of this i had a person one time tell me oh i hate when you pull that chocolate card it's so silly and i said it's not silly you know it's absolutely it's talking about you nourishing yourself on a psychological level on a physical level because when those two things are healthy okay the human side of you when that's healthy more messages can come through. That's why a lot of people uh, who are in the spiritual community, they like to go vegan or um, lead a vegetarian lifestyle because it makes them feel lighter and they're more in touch with their spirit. When you're bogged down and you're really pumping your body full of things that are making you feel sick, you're in low vibration. Now you can't hear the messages, <laughs> right? So that is a very important card. I think it's a very important time for you guys but I think it's gonna be a really beautiful month if you allow it. You know, I always say that, right? <laughs> All right, guys, have a beautiful month. Happy holidays, and I'm sending you so much love. Take care.